<laughs> Ooh wee. I've been waiting for this. The reason I haven't done a video on these stupid pieces of shit yet is simply because I didn't feel like my time deserved to be wasted on such a stupid, like, illiterate ass topic. These guys give these things 40 to 90 inches of lift in the front and then be like, oh, the state's picking on me. I get a ticket every day. Uh, yeah. You have zero visibility through the front of your windshield, which is why you have to look out the side of the window just to see the goddamn ground. Your truck has successfully been at a 90, no, a 45 to 60 degree angle. And you go to car shows telling people, oh, yeah, I did this right here. But the thing is, nobody gives a fuck about these things no more. Y'all only build these things to invoke emotion out of the car culture which you successfully do for views you should be ashamed of your damn self your parents raised a little bitch these be the same guys trying to raffle these fucking trucks off but then they realize don't nobody want this piece of shit in their driveway then they go to try to sell the vehicle with 250,000 miles or 300,000 miles somewhere in between that area and the transmission is probably missing the fourth gear Something about these trucks be looking like they saying hell Hitler. Bro, like these guys are no different than the ones in the early 2000s who used to put these big unnecessary ass body kits on these Honda Civics and Chevy Cavaliers. Big unnecessary wing, big ass fog lights and a bumper from uh, oh we. Who knows what website they didn't got it off of. These guys are the same damn deal. Biggest ricers in the world. See, these trucks be one big ass contradiction. You got 28 inch wheels on some of these trucks. You got a big unnecessary ass lift that's squatted in the back with mud tires. Like the fuck is the point of the mud tires? This thing has no off-road capabilities. It's about as bad as a Jeep Wrangler.